Welcome everybody! This time I have a special announcement about the incredible Google photorealistic 3D tiles that are available for a limited time on replay flights. We will also check some other options how to show 3D buildings and also cables, power lines and other obstacles. But as far as buildings go I've never seen anything as detailed as the new Google photorealistic 3D buildings. Right now Google is providing the data free of charge during a testing phase. I just added it to the map options and you can turn it on here next to the symbol of the house. The button with the capital G is the Google photorealistic 3D tiles. It includes not just the buildings but also more detailed terrain model. This is my hometown Grenoble as an example. If you have pro subscription you can combine it with the high resolution satellite map and the results are just mind-blowing. In case you want to turn that 3D buildings layer off again, you can select this option. And here are the other sources of 3D buildings data. We have the worldwide open street map buildings model here. In Switzerland there is an option to show the 3D models from Swiss Topo. They also have no texture, but uh, they have basic colors and they include also cables, which is great. But be aware that these models are not up to date, so if a cable was built in the last few years, it will not be here. And also there are no power lines showing. For that, check the official obstacle files linked from the user manual. They will have the most accurate information and they will also include power lines and so on. Another option is to get the obstacle airspaces from airspacexcontest.org. You can export them as airspace files and in the future also as a GeoJSON from this tab. And of course replay flights can open those GeoJSON files too. So huge thanks to everyone from XContest maintaining this data, thanks to everyone who got the pro subscriptions and happy landings everyone, see you in the next tutorial soon.